I'm on the cell phone. <laughs> You're not watching properly. I have three A's. Nobody can finish. Okay, right. So it was I mean. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, it is my great pleasure to introduce you a man that I've seen so saw people in half, stab them with swords, and they're okay afterwards, and he never ceases to amaze me. Would you please make a noise for my good friend, remarkable man, Wolfgang Riebe! <laughs> good evening, everyone. Oh, come on, how's it? There we go, right. For those of you who don't know me, I'm here to bamboozle you. Something completely different. I'm a magician, and in fact, I'm also psychic. You know, for many years, my mother wanted me to become a fortune teller, and I never saw future in it. So, <laughs> so what I did is I started studying psychokinesis. Anyone that believes in that, please raise my hand. No kidding. No, seriously? Seriously, I am a medium. I believe in Afrikaans, they call that a sinner. Someone that can foretell the future. I'm just curious. Have any of you ever been to a fortune teller before? Yes or no? Yes? You know what? I don't understand. When you go to a fortune teller, you have to make an appointment. <laughs> That's tough, man. They should know you're coming. <clears throat> and when I tell people I'm a medium, they go, prove it! And I can. It says on my underpants. Medium. Now, what I want... Who said average? <laughs> no, okay. What, what I want to do is I want to start out with a psychic experiment. I have over here a large card. I want each and every one of you in the audience to think of any card in a pack of playing cards. I will count to three. On the count to three, you shout out loudly the card you're thinking of. Your card will be here. <laughs> Are you ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. Okay, Ace of Spades was there. Jack of Dime was... No, what did you have done? Okay, right. Seriously? <laughs> oh, no comment. Okay, that was easy. Is it possible to read the future? What do you think? Can one read someone's mind? I need a volunteer, one of the gentlemen, but you may stay seated where you are, preferably up front here. Do I have... Don't take photos. My wife thinks I'm in Durban. Okay, <laughs> what... No, no. Do I have a volunteer? He said he'd be here this evening. No? Where would you... No. But, oh, this guy here. Hi, how's it? What's your, are you, what's your name? Andrew. Thanks for volunteering, Andrew. Have we ever met before? Then how do you know it's me? No, never mind. Okay. Andrew, I need you to play along. What I have is, this is not planned really, I have an invisible deck of cards. Oh, there it is. Okay. Andrew, I'm going to throw the cards to you. I want you to catch them. You have to play along. I don't want to play the fool with you. It's going to look like it, but I don't want to. Okay. Right. So, Andrew, catch them here. Here we go. Lacquer. Andrew, would you shuffle the cards? Andrew, take them out of the box first. Okay. Okay, now shuffle them. But I'm not going to look at him because you're going to say I'm going to look at the cards. Now, Andrew, once you've shuffled the cards, spread them in your hand and check that you've got a normal pack of cards. Not that I threw you a trick pack. Are you happy with that? Now, as you look through the cards, let your eyes focus on one and memorize that card. Have you done that? Okay, pull the card out and cement it in your mind. Now, once you've got to turn it around, hold up high, show it to the rest of the audience behind you. <laughs> and you're all looking. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, right. Now, keep it the wrong way around, Andrew. Push it back in the pack the wrong way around. Square the cards up, put them back in the card case. Throw it back to me. Cheers. Please give him a round of applause for being important. Thank you, Andrew. Right. Now, important, we never met before. This was spontaneous. Um, and I appreciate you playing with it. I'm going to drop the cards into my case. The pack is now visible. You didn't know they were this big, huh? You know I use bicycle cards. So I can take you for a ride. <laughs> okay, no, no. Now, this is actually quite weird because last night I had, I, was, I had a premonition. And I'm feeling better this morning. But what an experience last night. I was in Joburg in this hotel. And I mean, I've been doing this for years. And the first time in my life, do you know that last night I had a woman 
knocking on my hotel room door until four o'clock this morning. I know, it's unreal. I mean, eventually I let her out. But you know, it's the first time that's ever happened. Now, in this whole process, on my own, I've got this feeling that someone today was going to think of a card. So in the darkness of the room, I took one card out, turned around, put it back. One card's the wrong way around in this pack. Andrew, could it be the same card you just thought of in your mind? For the first time, shout the name of your card out loudly. Ace of Spades. Ace of spades. You know, half the audience would have thought of the Ace of Spades. You sure you want to stick that? Don't want to change. You're welcome to. You sure you don't want to change? Please? Yeah, <laughs> Rafi. Okay, so you said the ace of spades. You could have said any card you wanted to do. I had no control. I'm going to remove the joker because we don't need the joker. If you said any card, you said the ace of spades. So, I'm glad you didn't say the ten of hearts. The ace of spades. So, as I go through here, I'm going to look for a card that is the wrong... You said the ace of spades. That is the wrong way around. I mean, you obviously see when there's a card the wrong way around. There's a card, right? Second from the back there. That's the wrong way around. If that was the eight of, ace of spades, would that freak you out? That'd be pretty cool, huh? Yeah! Okay, thank you very much. Oh, I know. As the cow said to the farmer, thanks for the warm hand.